Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Sports Update powered by Budweiser. So the Jaguars come up with a 41-14 victory, and while you just if you looked at it, you'd go, well, you know, it looked like they controlled the game. No, in the th- last three quarters of the game, they dominated it. They were down 14-0, and then for seven turnovers. That's nearly unheard of. The Jaguars did that, five of those by the defense. Special teams comes up with a touchdown, defensive touchdown, offensive touchdowns. Biggest output, obviously, of the year, and offensively the biggest output of the year. And the Jaguars seem to get some validation for what Mel Tucker's trying to preach, as I probably told you a couple weeks ago. When they named Mel Tucker the interim head coach, you knew that things were going to change somewhat because he has this very different coaching and management style than Jack Del Rio. He never talks about a negative. He always talks in positive terms. He always wants the players to be upbeat and to be up-tempo. In fact, the players have said that some of the practices are as much conditioning practices as anything else. So congratulations to Tucker and to the team for producing at that level uh, against the Tampa Bay team that struggles. But when a team is struggling, you got to get them down and put your foot on their throat and finish them off. And that's what the Jaguars did. They didn't just sit there with a two-touchdown lead and say, okay, well, that's good enough. 41-14, the final. Now a very short week as they'll play on Thursday in Atlanta against the Falcons. And, uh, by the way, Mike Smith in the hospital in Charlotte on Sunday night. Apparently he's going to be okay. He'll make it back to Atlanta on Monday. Nonetheless... This is very different because they're off Monday, they practice Tuesday, travel Wednesday, and play Thursday night. So a lot of uh, concentration on mental reps and making their bodies ready to play a National Football League game once again. That's uh, going to be tough, but same thing for the Falcons. they got to turn around and do the exact same thing. It's also a big week for the franchise as the uh, franchise transfer of ownership will happen in Dallas. Uh, that comes up on Wednesday. The NFL owners will meet there and approve Shad Khan as the new Jaguar owner. Wayne Weaver will be there, Shad Khan, Roger Goodell, and we'll be there on Channel 4 as well, bringing you all the coverage of the ownership transfer. It's true they won't sign the papers until January 4th and close the deal, but that, in fact, will be the uh, final step that Khan has to get through, uh, which is the full membership, the 32 teams voting on Wednesday. Um, Kind of an exciting week, obviously, a little bit bittersweet for Wayne Weaver, but certainly uh, very exciting as a new owner and a new coach search will continue, and Mel Tucker has got his name in the ring based on on that. Um, outside of that, just a couple of other quick things, but mainly I went to see Florida play basketball Friday night here in town. They play hard, and, I mean, it's fun to watch them. And when Patrick Young is playing the way that he's playing and the Gators are – positive on the perimeter shooting side if they shoot like 50 percent from outside the arc they are a very dangerous team because they don't have a guy who can't hit a three so we'll look for that as it goes on fun game to watch uh the 22nd of this month against florida state i'm sam kavaris that's the nimic sports update powered by budweiser